Hi everyone, it's Richard from Calvin Wazoo here with another video for you today. Uh, we're going to talk about record storage and avoiding something that is called ringware on your covers. Uh, from one of my earlier videos, you probably heard that one of my pet peeves uh, among record collecting is dealing with vendors who just love to cram their uh, records for sale so tightly inside the bins or in, you know in shelves that you know you can't wiggle them at all and then you gotta pull them out of there and and every time you do that especially if they don't have any protective covering on the album you know it just wears away at the at the outer cover and the cover art so um that can happen as well in your own collection. And that also promotes something, not just the overall rubbing and wear on the album cover, but it can also promote something called ring wear. And, you know, so as an example here, I've got my uh, Bruce Springsteen album here. I'll pull it out of its protective cover. And, uh, you know, the Wild and the Innocent and the East Street Shuffle, um, you can see all the, like the rubbing that's taken place on the cover, but then you can also see this like circular rubbing going on the cover. Um, and it's also noticeable on the back. Um, usually uh, it looks it's cover like this. Um, and darn that camera of mine just did that hinky thing again. Um, but it's more, it's kind of like a dirty ring, okay? That is ring wear. And it's caused by two factors. One, the cover is being stored too close, you know, in too close of confinement on a shelf or in a bin. And, you know, with the, with the pulling out. And that the actual album is stored inside the sleeve. So, um, you know, when I started ordering records in the mail, as opposed to, you know, always buying them in a store, I noticed that a few times when the record arrived, the actual album came like this with the record. It was not inside the jacket in the sleeve. And I just thought, oh, okay, that's the way they ship it. But then I found out, no, that's probably how they store it as well, not just ship, because that's how you can avoid ring wear and cover wear. Um, so from now on, what I do, I have, you know, the record sleeve and the outer protective cover. And then I also store the record outside of the sleeve, like so. And now that it's outside of the sleeve, plus when I'm storing it on my shelves, I do my best to keep enough wiggle room so that when I'm sliding a record in and out, that it's not always rubbing tightly against other records in that bin. This is why also you can see, for example, in this Arlo Guthrie uh, album, you know, you can see the ring wear showing up. So I am gradually, not all my records are like this. Some of them are being stored with the album inside the sleeve but when I pull one out to play and that's the case when I put it back I put it back like this this is particularly uh, an issue when you are dealing with older rarer more valuable records um, now with this case uh, this is not a valuable record it is an older record uh, blows against the Empire by uh, Jefferson Starship, Paul Katner, actually it's often uh, 
credited to Paul Katner more than Jefferson Starship. Great, great, great album. Great psychedelic rock. But this one has a lot of ring wear. A lot of ring wear you can see on the back. And it's one I haven't played in a while, so that's why it's not out of the um, record jacket. I will change that. I did buy a new one. Not a new, new one. But a, another copy of this, you can see it has less ring wear. It's got a big punch in it. Uh, but these records are pretty cheap anyway. Um, and then on the back cover, there's hardly any ring wear at all. Uh, so again, I pulled them out for this video, and I will pull the wax out so that it's uh, on the outside when, before I put them back. Um, but when you are talking about more valuable records, you know, for example, this one here, this is an original first pressing of Uncle Meat by the Mothers of Invention. And not only do I store the records outside of the jacket, this jacket in particular is also in another, I mean, I've got this sleeve protective covering on it, but I pull this out. Um, the cover also is in a protective sleeve uh, because, you know, it's got some seams that are starting to split. So I want to protect this when I, I mean, the records themselves are in great shape, definitely playable. Um, and playing them isn't going to harm them as long as I'm using a good needle, good cartridge and, and stylus. Uh, but handling the cover over and over again to take the record out, that is going to contribute to more deterioration. So I have it inside this cover so that I don't have to touch it anymore and, and, and make these seam splits worse. I want to avoid that. And then also, um, same case with, um, you know, my OG of uh, Hot Rats. I have, uh, have it out so that I, you know, I don't have to handle the cover that much I can just take the record out this way, and then not only am I not handling the cover, I am also reducing uh, ring wear. This is really helpful too when you buy Japanese copies or other uh, non-American or Canadian copies that may have what is called an OBI strip or you know another strip that goes on the outside. So when you take the record out and store it inside, uh, the the uh, outer sleeve, but not inside the jacket, um, then you don't uh, run the risk of tearing that OBI, uh, which in the case of uh, Japanese pressings in particular, a damaged OBI is going to reduce the resale value of that record. So you want to take care of the OBI. So, uh, so tips there um, about uh, these things, you know, the record storage, so how you can avoid ring wear and also uh, avoid contributing to further damage to the outside cover. Hope the information was helpful. Be sure to check my other uh, videos. Uh, subscribe so that you'll get notifications when I publish something else. And, uh, and share, please, with others. I hope you enjoy them. And as always, remember, enjoy your music.